The endocrine society's journals are, are viewed as the most important in the field. So in the subspecialty of endocrinology, the very best journals are endocrinology, JCEM, endocrine reviews, and we think soon uh, the Journal of the Endocrine Society as the latest form for open access. We have to support the society and we need to be there as a place where as our scientists research changes and as their publication needs changes, we're there and we continue to be the place where they're going to be publishing their best work. So as editor-in-chief, one of our responsibilities and one of our sacred duties, well, one is to make sure that what we publish is very sound, excellent, peer review. The other one is to be a champion of the authors. They should know that they will be critically reviewed by outstanding reviewers with expertise in the field. Everybody who's on our associate editorial board is really interested in, in helping people within the society and outside the society, especially young investigators. So I think people have to feel like they can come to us. One of the things that I emphasized was being a welcoming publication venue for people who are either publishing their first paper or who are maybe uh, in transition to their first faculty position or maybe junior faculty. Uh, I've really been happy to be able to support new rising scientists as much as possible through the journal. Our submission, we get an incredible number of submissions from China. We get them from all over Europe. We get them from different parts of Asia, we get them from Australia. Both the Endocrine Society and the journal, not just endocrinology, but all the Endocrine Society journals, really feel that it's important to be part of the international community. I traveled worldwide visiting other endocrine societies, uh, giving talks all over the world, and uniformly met praise for the Endocrine Society and its journals. It connects people around the world because like I tell my students, you can do an experiment. If you never publish it, it was never done. You've got to bring that to life so it'll live forever. And where it lives forever are, is the journal. I think the journals, they disseminate information in our field and they disseminate it very broadly, not only among our members, but to people who are non-members, but are interested in either clinical trials or review articles in the field of endocrinology. And so our job, I think, is to try and show the excitement to everybody and make people understand the benefits of publishing in our journals. And I think if we do that, the journals are gonna to continue to be successful, but we have to keep moving. We have to keep staying ahead of the curve. We're doing it better today than we did before because the world of science and the world of publishing is changing faster and faster and we've been able to adapt to those kinds of changes.